Welcome to Democracy 2018. We're taking a look at different districts all across the state of Indiana. Today, Janine Lee Lake is here with me. She's running for Congress for District 6. That encompasses a huge portion of the eastern part of our state, 19 counties to cover. So I know you've been busy talking to different voters, but we talked to some voters at the county fair up in Delaware County. Wonderful. And then we came back and asked them, as we're getting closer to Election Day, what issues still matter to them and if they have any questions for you. So I wanted to ask you a few of those. One voter in your area is concerned about veterans affairs. He told me he doesn't always vote along party lines because that's the one issue that really matters to him. So in Congress, what would you do to make sure that our veterans are taken care of when they get back home in terms of health care, in terms of jobs? Do you have any ideas on that? Well, um, I, I do believe that the veteran that you spoke with um, probably expressed some very true concerns. Um, there are 46,000 Hoosier veterans. Um, and we're very concerned about them. They fought for this country. They gave their lives. And well, I'm sorry, the, the ones that there are some that gave their lives from from Indiana, uh, but the survivors um, are very concerned about some of the uh, the ways in which they're able to receive uh, medical treatment now. I know they have uh, you know regional centers and VA clinics and things like that. Um, but I've heard you know from everyone down uh, in Franklin County, there's some concerns because they have to actually go over to Ohio uh, for some treatment. Um, there's some veterans that feel like um, you know they're upset because they actually can't make they can't just uh, they can't make appointments anymore. They actually have to go and wait uh, for for appointments and to be seen. Um, that doesn't seem right. Uh, they've given, uh, like I said, they've given so much to us, and I feel like we could give more to them. Um, my uncle James fought in Vietnam. Uh, he's my my dad's brother. My grandfather was a, a veteran of World War II. And, uh, you know, we've got people in our family uh, all the way down to people that have served in the military for many years, uh, nephews and even a niece. <laughs> and so, you know, this is very near and dear to my heart. And I think we need to start on both parties uh, really treating them like they, they deserve to be treated. Another question from a voter is the big issue facing Hoosiers, facing people all across the country is the opioid epidemic. This voter said in particular that we've had this war on drugs for so many years now, but it seems like it keeps getting worse. Are there any specific steps you would take as a member of Congress to address this issue? Well, one of the things that I would think that is important is that we start with the idea that we don't stigmatize uh, those that are uh, that are addicted to drugs. Um, it is a huge issue. Uh, there are 10 counties uh, in Indiana that are extremely hard hit. Uh, I think they're actually 10 of the worst counties in the country, and there and 10 of those are counties are in our district, in the 19 counties. And so it's very disturbing. We've had uh, reports of um, active meth labs being left near cornfields in Franklin County. Um, we've just had a, a lot of uh, people that have come forward with their stories. I met a woman the other day from Hancock County uh, that helps uh, people get um, treatment right out of jail. And so there, there's some really good programs out there uh, that are community-based, and I think we need to focus on those things. She had just lost her child um, to uh, opioids a couple of years ago, and it was a very tragic situation. So her name's Darla, and she's doing great things there in Hancock County. And so we're going to try to join with her and some other uh, agencies across uh, the uh, across the district to encourage them to continue to fight for uh, fight for the people that are you know addicted. Perfect. And so um, speaking of drugs, another big issue is the marijuana issue. We know in Canada they just legalized marijuana. Several states have different rules and um, it's legal in some states. It's not legal right. federally. It's a fractured law. One voter that we talked to is concerned about the difference between the federal and the state laws. Um, as someone in Congress, what's your stance on different types of marijuana use and what should be legal and what shouldn't be? Well, I do think it needs to be legal across the country. Um, at this point, it's been proven from, uh, you know, from a medical standpoint uh, to be the antidote for a, a myriad of different medical uh, treatments. Um, I have a, someone in my family that actually uh, um, would like that, that that to be the case here and abroad. Um, she suffers from uh, tremors and some other long-term medical medical ailments, and you know it, it has been shown to treat things like that. So I'm very much in support of that. And I think, you know, down the road, we need to also look at uh, recreational marijuana as well. Another issue that is coming up in the news lately is border security. The president's talking more tough on this issue with the midterm elections right around the corner and the caravan coming up from 
South America and Central America. What are some issues that you see you would face as a member of Congress and what are your stances in terms of our border security? Well, I am for border security. I think that it's important that we as Americans um, you know, are safe, um, but I don't think that that is the number one issue that is on the hearts right now of many Hoosiers. Really what they're concerned about, one, is uh, making sure that the current laws that we do have in place are enacted, uh, and that's been, that's, that's a large part of the problem. They're not really being enacted like they should. But what I hear time and time again are mothers, and it goes from red to blue to purple to wherever, every party there's so many mothers that are concerned about um, these uh, mothers that are being separated from their children at the border um, seeing these crying children you know crying and and upset because they're being ripped from their mother's arms and they never some are have not been returned to their families and are now being adopted out um, you can't do that that's really actually more than anything what I'm hearing is that we have to do something about those issues and making good immigration uh, policies that not that do not include separating families. And last, uh, I know you've been traveling around all the different counties in your area talking to voters. <laughs> what would I've you been to say, all 19 several all 19 times. Counties, <laughs> what would you say is the biggest issue as we're getting even closer to election day that's on the hearts and minds of Hoosiers? You know, I think, Lauren, uh, people are extremely concerned about the tenor and the temperature of our nation. Um, they're, they're wanting courageous and bold leaders to be able to speak out when right is not being um, being the mood of the day. They're, they're extremely concerned when wrong things happen and no one stands up in Congress. I want to be part of the bold leadership. I want to be part of the righteous leadership <laughs> that's able to say, you know what, um, this is not what our voters, this is not what we're feeling. Uh, this is something that we feel doesn't represent us uh, as dignified Americans. Ronald Reagan talked about a city that was on a hill and he wanted our country to be seen in the best and the brightest way. And um, it's all, there's also some biblical scriptures that talk about that. You know, I'm a person of faith. <laughs> my, mama, my mom and my daddy were people, uh, uh, pastors in Crawfordsville, and my husband's a pastor, and my grandfathers were both pastors. So, you know, I know that, um, that we, we can be better than that. We are, we are people that uh, love, and for us, faith equals service. And so it's, it's important to me. That's one of the things, the biggest thing that I feel is that we have to uh, change the way that our country is being represented. All right, Janine Lee Lake running for Congress in District <laughs> 6 here in Indiana on the Democratic ticket. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Lauren. Have a great day. Thanks.